I'm Rebecca Davis, and I'm teaching inquiry and research for incoming psychology graduate students to help them master APA style and research techniques and things like that. Can you tell us a little bit about your writing process, about when you start a project, how you go about putting it together and taking it through? Well, I don't know how to say this daintily, but I think of it as like throwing up almost <laughs> at first. You know, that you, you just have to get it out in whatever form. And, and it's almost like then you get this mass of raw material. And, and I think of it almost like clay. You know, like I think of it, okay, I, I don't need this, I don't need this. I'm going to pack this together this way and shape it like that. I mean, it's real tactile, I guess, for me. A lot of people, myself included, have that little editor in their heads and that keeps them from throwing up. Mm -hmm. You know what you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how do you how do you enable yourself to just let all that go? Well I'm a I'm a long time journaler. I have always journaled faithfully and I think that that helps to override the critic because you're so used to just doing your morning pages as Julia Cameron would say. You just um, and so Lots of times my scholarly projects will come out in bits and pieces in my journal. I mean, and sometimes when I work I have my journal and I have my stack of books and I have my notebook for my scholarly project and I'll be going back and forth and I'll be writing and I'll get an idea and I'll go to the other thing. So it's real, um, feels real integrated with my sort of... I, I think it's really important to integrate any project you do, even the most scholarly, tedious assignment, with your own interests somehow. So I think a journal is great for that. You used a great metaphor as kind of throwing pottery. Um, what are some of the things you do? What's that experience like? What are some of the things that you do as a writer to help shape this mess that you've got? Well, it depends on what kind of project it is. I mean, um, writing a short story is completely different from writing an essay. So let me speak to writing an essay, since that's what most people are doing. Is that OK? That's totally fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, in high school, I had a stickler of an English teacher. Probably everybody has somebody like that. Her name was Mrs. Tibbetts. And she, um, she was the person who taught me that you have a thesis statement that governs the organization of the paper. And I think that um, starting with a sense of where you want to go is really important. Um, and then not being too attached to that is really important. So you start with that and you may find as you proceed and do research and think about things that you don't agree with yourself where you started from. So you have to go back and adjust that and then work some more on the paper and go back and forth until the paper really says what you need. And then the final task is to make sure that um, you are giving no false cues in that paper. Every single word in the introduction points to what you're going to say later on. You don't stray off into any, you know, blind alleys. You you. Every word in that paper counts toward the point you're trying to make. How do you get to the point of knowing exactly what you want to say? And I think we've covered this some, but I know that I'm a student who has taken your class and I've got all this research that I've kind of read. I've got all this stuff. And how do I sift through that all to find out what it is that I want to say? That I really have to say. Remove the pressure and walk away from it and and let it sort of settle so that you can see the the big outlines of what you're trying to do and not get bogged down with all the details. When I was um, organizing my dissertation, I, I, I was like buried under all this stuff. My whole apartment was like full of books and I, I couldn't think of how to organize it. Um, I, I did have a working thesis, but it just seemed totally unmanageable. And I, I took one piece of paper and a pencil, and I got on the ferry, and I took the 
Edmunds Ferry <laughs> across and back, and I told myself, I'm going to, during this ferry ride, looking out the window at the water, figure out the bones of this thing that I want to say. And I think just walking away from it is the way to let it sift down. Um, maybe it takes a long time. What's hard for you as a writer? What's the, what's the hardest part? The absolute hardest thing for me is rejection. It took all of my nerve to send an article out. And I was so astounded and gratified when I got back, you know, the reader 